Hey guys, welcome to your ninth grade PCCR. We've got some information to share with you guys. So this is a list of counselors at the high school. So you can just go through and find your last name in the alphabet and that will tell you who your counselor is. Here's some important dates for you guys to be aware of. The first one is sophomore orientation, which will be on April 29th. The time that you go will be determined by your last name. So if your last name starts with the letters A through K, you'll go from 5 to 6 p.m. And if your last name starts with L through Z, you'll go from 6.15 to 7.15. There you can get all kinds of information on classes or clubs or teams, so whatever you're interested in, you can check it out at Sophomore Orientation. The next date you want to be aware of is the arena scheduling date. So you've already put in requests for your core classes, so this will be for your electives. And that's going to open on May 11th at 4 p.m. And then it will close May 12th at midnight. So you want to make sure that you get on and select the elective classes that you're wanting to take. And then lastly, you want to be aware of the summer's driver's ed information. So if you are turning 16 over the summer, you'll want to make sure that you get registered for driver's ed. That registration April, opens April 5th and will close May 27th. Here's a list of graduation requirements that you'll need to meet before you graduate. So you'll want to make sure that you're paying attention to these to select the classes for each year. So for language arts, you're going to need four credits. Social studies, you'll need three and a half. Math, you'll need three, but we always recommend that you take a fourth year. Colleges like to see that. Science is the same, so you need three, but we would recommend doing a fourth year. PE, you need two credits. Fine arts, you need one and a half. CTE, you need one. Digital studies, you need a half. Financial literacy, you need a half, and then you'll need eight electives. So total, that will be 27 credits. Here's a sample schedule of what you could be taking next year. So you can see you have your language arts, history, science, math, and then from there it can kind of change. So typically people are doing fitness for life, a digital studies requirement. You do have a health class you'll want to take, and then you get two electives to select. If you're interested in taking any classes at the JATC, you'll want to start planning for those now. So typically those programs are going to start in 11th or 12th grade, but there are some prerequisites that you'll want to make sure that you're meeting. And you'll also want to make sure that you're focusing on getting your art and PE classes out of the way. So if you have questions about that, talk with your high school counselor. Another option you have is to take some CTE pathway classes. Um, so if you're interested in something like cooking, you can take classes that will help get you ready for a career in one of those fields. If you ever fail a class during high school, you will have to make up that credit. If you failed any classes this year, we will be in touch with you on ways to make up that credit, but you're also free to always reach out to your counselor to figure out the best way to make up the credit. One of the reasons you want to do the very best that you can in high school is to go to college. There are several different ways that colleges determine whether or not they will let you in. One of those ways is based off from your academics, so your GPA and your ACT or SAT test scores. This is also one of the ways that you can pay for college through scholarships such as merit-based or leadership. There's other types of scholarships as well, service, athletic, departmental, diversity, all kinds of scholarships to help you pay for school. Another way that some colleges determine whether or not they will allow you into their school is through what's called holistic admissions. This is where they want to see who you are as a person. They're really looking for you to shine through all of these different categories. So as part of that holistic application, or just to make high school a little bit more fun, we highly encourage you to join as many sports and clubs as is reasonable for you in balancing homework, life, and school. Here is a list of Mountain Ridge's current sports and clubs. Visit their website for more information. If there is any possibility at all that you might play college level sports, you'll want to make sure to check out NCAA's website to ensure that you are eligible and taking the correct classes for eligibility. A few questions we get asked often. The first is, can I take driver's ed earlier than my birthday? Nope, unfortunately you can't. They need to make sure they have room for all the students who need to take it. So you'll have an assigned time based on your birthday. That's when you'll need to take it. Do I have to take the career class? Yes, you do. 
It's only a quarter class because driver's ed is a quarter, so we have to make sure we have that full semester class for you. If you are not taking driver's ed through the school, then no, you don't have to take that career class. Your eighth grade foreign language will count for college requirements. Most colleges don't require a foreign language, except the U, but they like to see that you have done a foreign language. So they'll see, okay, you're in a level two in ninth grade, meaning you've taken two years and they will accept that. Concurrent enrollment options begin in 10th grade. There are not very many that are available and the counselors recommend you wait until 11th and 12th grade, but there are some available. The health class you take in 10th grade is totally different than the one in 8th grade, so yes, you have to take that. Fitness for life is non-negotiable. You do have to take that as well. What science should I take? You guys have already chosen, but you can still make an adjustment if you need to. There's no set rule. If you've taken our science in 9th grade, we recommend biology. Uh, if you took biology in 9th, then you're going to move to chemistry or physics. Those are based more on math level. Physics requires a lot more mathematically, so you're going to want to make sure you're up to the task in that and have taken at least the secondary two math courses before you're in those. As far as electives, usually you have two and a half electives in your schedule each year, which gets you up to the eight elective requirement, but really it depends on the classes you take, the requirements that you're trying to meet for graduation, and programs you're seeking outside of high school. And lastly, we're going to be coming into your science classes in the next two days to help you create your four-year plan so that we have one on file for you. Nothing you need to worry about right now. We look forward to seeing you in the next little bit to help you work through these individually. Thanks so much for your attention during this, you guys. We know it's a lot of information. If you have any questions, we will be in your classrooms to do this, but come to our office anytime. Send us an email, whatever you need to. We are happy to help with whatever questions you have.